Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor have another shave the day for you. And today we're going to be delving into, well, PAA's Cold Spice. Yep, if you like Old Spice, hmm, this is, what, what's menthol? There you go, go to pay PAA. They'll have a really nice addition to your collection. Being an individual that started off shaving using nothing but Old Spice uh, shave soap on the puck. Yeah, brings lots of memories back. And then we're going to be using the um, Mercure 34C with some Gillette Wilkinson blades. Nice little uh, combination. Works pretty good. Uh, first use of these blades. Should get me through the weekend. And then, well, I decided to break out one of my, my other blade, or brushes. It smells really nice. This is the, what do you call it, Jaquil Coravino brush. I think it's a 24. I'm not in, big into nomenclature when it comes to brushes. To me, brushes a brush. But anyway, obviously we're going to... Uh, be following up with uh, some Old Spice. Alright. Yeah. I think I've seen it, said it before. I'll probably say it again. When it comes to brushes, I don't know. It's like I've used this since I went years using the same brush. It was like, it was... You know, there's a lot of brushes out there, but it's not something you would ever, always find in the, uh, the store. It's like occasionally you'd see one and you could change if you wanted to. And it's like, oh, this one I'm working works good. So this knot on this thing is pretty big too. And I'm not a overly big fan of a big knot. I suppose if I'm doing shaving my head, this would be good. This really does. It's like I, I had normally have a big old bowl full of... Uh, so it's all in the brush right now. It's like this brush is sucked it right up. And I kept adding water and water and water to it. And I was like, I'm not getting any suds out of this thing. Where's my lather? It's there. Just it's not quite drippy enough. I probably could add even more water to it. One of those deals where you just keep adding water and it's like, oh man. It's like, where's my soap at? Probably another reason why I don't like these big brushes. But, anywho, let's get on with the shave. I hope everybody's day's going good. It's, you know, you'd be watching this on a Saturday. And right now, in Iwegia, a.k.a. Iowa, uh, it's raining. It's like the third straight day of rain. This is Friday. You'd watch this on Saturday morning. This, I usually put them out on Saturday, the day after early morning. But... It has been raining for days now, which is really causing havoc for me because I exercise every day. I walk five miles a day outside, get the fresh air. And when it's raining, I don't go outside. I don't like the rain. I don't like getting wet. Never have. It's like when I was in the army, it's like the old saying is, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. And I was like, this sucks. <laughs> I hate it. Another reason I went and joined the tanks, because I wouldn't have to, well, at least you know, I'm partially covered. You know, you could be in a, in a tank, you put the overhead cover up. It was like, yep, I'm on my tank, roaming around. At least I can see what the heck's going on and stay out of the weather. But yeah. I'm one of those individuals. I'm like an ever-ready battery. Uh, then you know, see that bunny that's always going around. It keeps going and going. If I don't exercise outside, get enough fresh air, and, and wear myself out, I don't sleep at all. It's like last night. I'm lucky if I got three hours. I just, it was like 4 a.m. It's like, I'm going to go to bed. And I laid there. And lay there. And then my wife gets up and goes, gets ready for work. And that's around 4, 3, or 5. And I'm still laying there. And it's like, around 5 o'clock, I eventually, I think I fell asleep. 
And then I get up at eight, like not tired. And I was like, well, another reason why I don't do caffeine. I can't do it. <laughs> I have a hard enough time sleeping the way it is. Just put caffeine in, I'm up another 24 hours. Not my thing. And I'm always, you know, it's like you always have individuals that love their coffee. It's like, I can't survive the day without coffee. I'm like, you know, my wife is one of them. She like caffeinated tea. She's not a coffee drinker. I'm, I never was a coffee drinker. It's like, ugh. How can something, it's like you, you walk in, my parents were always coffee drinkers. And still are. They can burn through a cup, a pot of coffee, and, and just like, you want some? Yeah, it smells so good, but got it. It's like, I remember trying it. It's like, oh, you people drink this? And it's, oh, it's really good. It tastes really good. I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like disgusting. But, you know, each to their own. Maybe it's because I got really good taste buds or something. It's just like, ugh, nasty. But I enjoy my, I enjoy tea. I have to uh, drink decaf tea. But works good for me. So it's like years ago, back in the 90s, you know, it's like, you know, I went into a, had a doctor's appointment, and, you know, doc, and he was like, how long do you want to live? And I'm like, uh, that's a good question, as long as possible. And he's like, well, your blood pressure is, like, through the roof. And yeah, it's like, you drink caffeine. I was like, well, I suppose, yeah. It's like, I still had a problem being back in the, back in the day, it's like, trying to sleep. And it's well, your blood pressure is through the roof. It's like it's like like well, yeah, I I drink tea. It's like occasionally I drink. Uh, every once in a while, I have like a a Coke or something like that. And as well, you need to stop. This I think it's raising your blood pressure through the roof. And it's like you, you still even with a little you. Your uh, drink, it's your blood pressure so high. Like, okay. So I quit, went through withdrawal, which is miserable. You know, that massive migraine headache you get after uh, going a few days without caffeine. And I went through that. And, uh, the went back for a checkup it was like my blood pressure went down to what considered normal it's like it dropped like 30 40 boys with by giving up caffeine because that's how much it energizes me because i can tell it's like if i had let's say a cup of uh caffeinated tea like my blood i can feel it. it's like the whole heart heart like doo -doo 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 -doo. it's like you can feel the blood pumping through my skull uh, it's like, yeah, gotta go. And that's been 24 years ago, something like that. 25, I gave up. I really like the freighter. These Recore 34Cs are just spot on for the amount of aggressiveness I need in my shave. I mean, some may think it's a mild shaver, but you can take this razor, and I've done it uh, sometime back here where uh put a feather blade in it, and man, it really wake, wakes this uh, razor up even more and adds another level of aggressiveness step up. Huh. Kind of... Knocked everything down pretty good so far. So, there you go. I can feel a, a little bit of cooling going on with the uh, 
Cold Spice, but it's not really heavy in the menthol. I get some like some of the uh, um, Sterling's glacials or you know the their uh, lemon chill, orange chill. You know, I like I like those. The menthol that you get in those is pretty heavy. And comparatively to this, <laughs> so this is just a slight amount of uh, chill going on here, here with it. Let's see if I can squeeze out some of this. Like now you can look in the bowls like, oh, look at all that soap that's in there. And all the lather got swallowed up by that big brush. So, <clears throat> now for the final pass. The upper against the green. Yeah, that blade working. They're working pretty good. Yeah, it's like when you come to your beard, you have to learn to map it. And I learned when I was young that you need to, like when it really started growing in, like you learn what direction you need to angle your razor to get everything off it works good you can see it, it's like swirly right through here like number of times I've gone over it you just got to get that right angle to get that because you can go this way you're going with the green or against the green it just depends where at you are in your strokes. <clears throat> yeah, when I first started shaving, it'll be, let's see, 1978, December 1978, around Christmas time when I really started shaving. And it was only once, I only shaved like once a week. Like when you're 14, you didn't get a lot of growth on your face, but it wasn't at the time. It's like when my dad told me, he's like, you got to start shaving. Yeah. You know, it's like, you get that tuft of beard growing, you know, going crazy as it starts to grow. And it's like, oh, that's got to go. And. I was like, hey, <laughs> it's like when you're a teenager, it's like, I get to shave. I'm becoming a man. <laughs> That's also about the time you really start noticing the girls, too. About seventh grade, I guess. Sixth, seventh grade. Yeah, somewhere in there. <clears throat> Yeah, there we go. I think we got that. But, yeah. When I first started shaving, I, I've had the gear out. It's like, it's, I still got my original razor. It's a Schick Corona. From way back in the day. I think the reason old dad bought it was uh, it was cheap at the time. <laughs> I grew up a poor kid. Like a pack of five razor blades would last me forever in a day. Like if you only shaved once a week, one blade would last me months. It's like the first few years, one pack of blades would last me <laughs> over a year. <clears throat> it was like you just do one pass and you're done type of deal.
and then as you got older, it's like by the time I was 16, it was, I was shaving around three times a week. By 18, yeah, it was about every other day, depending. And then by the time I was out of high school, it was like probably once a day. And that's when I had my, got my own razor, new razor. That's when I picked up the uh, Gillette uh, adjustable, the Black Beauty. First job, making I think three twenty-five an hour. Woo, making the big bucks. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. Like that was minimum wage back then. But almost an hour and about an hour and a half worth of work, you got yourself a new razor. And that yeah, guy shaved for years until it got to the point where it was like it's like five bucks for five six bucks for five razor blades. It was like and it was cheaper to buy those cartridges. Unfortunately. Alright, I think we got it. Alright. <clears throat> I'd say people are spoiled today. It's like, back in the day you had your choices. You could have to do Williams Soap or Old Spice. And that was it. There might have been a few others out there. But I never seen them. And I was like, I find out afterwards. And I was like, oh, there was this shave soap or this shave soap. And I'm like, I didn't know those existed. She says, if you don't ever see them or in the store, they don't exist. You never, if you have no knowledge of them, you know, type of deal. It's like when it comes to aftershaves. Oh, yeah, there was a bunch of those running around all the time. But... When it come to the uh, same thing when it come to uh razor you just had after a while after i think it was after 85 86 somewhere in there you basically quit seeing the uh um gillette adjustables all right whoops get it right there we go old spice Mmm, nice. It's like, ah, uh, it's like no stinging at all. I didn't feel any sting when I put that on. It just, it went on when it's like not even notice it. That's the nice thing about that Mercor 34C or even the Edwin Jagger or the Kingsley Gillette I have. It's like when I shave, I have about the only place I really get some tingling right through here. And I didn't get that today. It was a nice, easy, smooth shave. All right. That was PAA's Cold Spice. It has a little bit of menthol in it. I felt it for a while there. And a little, it's just like it's already faded away, the, the, the menthol aspect of it. Really nice uh, soap. If you like Old Spice, that's for you. And then we had the Mercor 34C with some Gillette Wilkinson Blades. First use. These will. This one will get me through the weekend. So, and we'll probably start another one, maybe, sometime. All right, so that was it. That was the shave of the day. What was your shave of the day? Put it down below. Share, 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 share. All right, so hit the old like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.